Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde, and today we're talking about cybersecurity. And you guys are in for a treat because I have interviewed my friend Priscilla, who is such a badass and a co founder of a cybersecurity company, Mikey, which keeps users safe by keeping their passwords strong and secure. And so as you can tell, Priscilla knows a thing or two about cybersecurity and how to stay safe online. So I've decided to ask her a couple of questions about how you guys can stay safe online and be proactive about your cybersecurity. Hi Priscilla, how are you? Hi Masha, I'm really happy to be here. How are you? I am really great and I'm so happy to talk to you about this topic. I've been really dying to talk to you about it for a very long time. And yeah, thank you for finding time to talk to my audience. Of course, I'm really excited to be talking to the coding mom. <laughs> and I'm excited to, to be talking to the badass of cybersecurity. The badass brunette. <laughs> the badass brunette of cybersecurity, exactly. Maybe I need a new Instagram handle. You do, you do, absolutely. I would subscribe straight away and I think that everybody now will check if that exists. So you need to do it ASAP. <laughs> I'm on it, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so Priscilla, let's jump straight into it. Um, what does everybody need to know about cybersecurity? Well, cybersecurity is everybody's business. And unfortunately, cyber attacks are still on the rise. So most recently, Google Plus, before that it was Facebook, before that it was Sprint, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, I'm glad we have Cybersecurity Awareness Month, but cybersecurity is one of these things that should be a constant topic. We should be continuously informed about the best practices on how to live online and how to protect our digital identities because at the end of the day everything we do today is online every new account we use whether you're a social media guru or a an avid online shopper or even a professional using all these SaaS platforms everything requires login information uh, data that is proprietary and we need to learn how to protect ourselves yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Our lives are just moving online every day. And that means there's information that people can use um, and just, yeah, trick us or whatever. Um, the, the statistics in cybercrime are very, very scary, to be honest. And what would you recommend as somebody's, let's call it cybersecurity hygiene? What are the measures that everybody should take to stay safe online? I think today, the single point of failure remains to be the password. And so securing that password is one of the most important things. And, and when I say securing it, there are multiple things that we need to do. We should no longer be using weak passwords. Not only should we no longer be using weak passwords, we shouldn't be reusing these weak passwords across accounts. Because think of it this way. If one account is breached, then all your accounts are gone. So you have your same password on, on your Facebook and your Gmail and your Instagram and your Twitter. One account is gone, all of them are gone. So using strong, complex, unique passwords on every single account, and I cannot stress this enough, is really important. A second one would be trying not to store data online. So using offline products. Um, there are offline password managers out there. And while the cloud is great for a lot of things, your passwords, not one of them. So make sure to use an offline password manager. In terms of banking, always be checking in to make sure nothing fishy is going on in those accounts. Don't share that banking information, just like you don't share passwords. Treat them like underwear, that's what I always say. <laughs> and another one, when you're surfing the web, always make sure that you are within these credible and protected websites. So look for that green little lock at the top next to the website URL. That's a good way to kind of start. Now these are all very basic methods, but a great start for you to protect yourself online and make sure that you are not putting your data in the wrong hands. Yeah, those are definitely measures that everybody needs to take. Um, and I love that comparison of underwear. <laughs> So true, you shouldn't share that at all. And are there any apps or programs out there that help you 
stay safer online that help users kind of, I guess, get rid of their headaches when it comes to staying safe? Well, in terms of browsing, I mean, private browsing is a, is a good example. So using platforms like StartPage or DuckDuckGo is great. And in terms of password management, opting for an offline password manager, like my key right here, <laughs> um, that's another way to stay safe online. And now that we've touched on the topic, uh, what do you guys do with Mikey and how did the idea come about? Okay, well, the idea came about because of my grandmother's inability and her difficulty in being able to remember and manage her passwords. And this is where my co-founder and I sat down and we wanted to create something that would, one, have the convenience of a cloud-connected solution, have the security of an offline solution, and at the same time, help people gain control of their private data. And that's how we created MyKey. So MyKey is a password manager and authenticator that stores your data offline away from the cloud, and it allows users to log into their accounts using their fingerprint or face ID, depending on how cool your phone is. And it can help you manage your usernames, your passwords, your credit cards, your secure notes, and your IDs, again, offline away from the cloud. So very easy to use. And fortunately, it was named one of the best password managers for 2018 by PC Mag. And uh, don't take my word for it. You can check that out. And you can check out more about my key on, on Android Police as well. That's amazing. I am so, so proud of you. It's just amazing what you've created with my key. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. And as an expert on, in cybersecurity, um, do you have any tips for users to stay proactive um, about their security? How to stay on top of the potential new threats? So I think being well-informed, just like you said, is really important. They're you know, resorting to online blogs, really reading up bite-sized pieces of information can go a long way. Cybersecurity doesn't have to be something complicated or, or, or really, you know, something that is a headache to everybody. It's really about just being in the know, using these little tricks. For example, 2FA. 2FA is really important. It's that additional factor that you add to an account, that, that token that you receive by SMS, for example, and that's an added layer of security. Now, today, most people don't adopt 2FA because it's still you know, a difficult process, it's manual, you have to wait for that SMS. But using an authenticator like Mikey, for example, which is a password management manager and authenticator, it allows you to have that two-in-one solution that will give you an added level of security. So being informed through bite-sized content, adding additional layers of security like 2FA, and um, relying on, you know, your websites, being in a state of awareness, I guess, if it looks fishy, then it's probably fishy. And if some really handsome man is asking you for money from halfway across the world, I mean, it's probably not true, right? <laughs> Promising to marry you for that? I mean, I don't know. There, there's something fishy about it. I just <laughs> say, when you're online, if it seems fishy, it probably is. So opt out. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> I love that example. But I guess... Trust your intuition sometimes to some degree, you know, when it comes to fishy things. Yeah. Absolutely. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. And nobody would be asking you for your uh, personal password or credit card information online because we know that's, that's insecure. So under no circumstance uh, should you share that kind of sensitive data online. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing those tips. I'm very excited to get them out to my audience and um, to help them be more secure. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Thank you for having me, Masha. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Priscilla. That was amazing and super, super useful. I hope you guys now know what to do to stay safe online. Priscilla is such an inspiration to me. I can't wait to interview her for my Inspirational Women series. And if you guys want to stay on top of your cybersecurity and keep your password safe and keep your data safe online, you can try out Mikey using the link in the description. 
And if you guys are interested in more cybersecurity content, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at CodingBlonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.